Good morning children welcome back I am Mrs Sitara your social science teacher In today's session we will learn class 7 social science economics unit 1 production part 1 Come children let us see what is it Children production P R O D U C T I O N production Production is a process of combining various material inputs and immaterial inputs in order to make something for consumption. It is the act of creating an output, a good or a service which has value and contributes to the utility of individuals. That is a definition for production. So in this unit we all know the meaning of production and we will understand the different types of production. we'll learn about the different factors of production and understand the characteristics of the factors of production the lesson begins with the conversation it is a conversation between yarni and josephine and their uncle one day yarni and josephine were sitting in a park near their house and eating sugarcane at that time yarni's uncle raja came there and started talking to them he said dear children do you know what are the products produced from the sugarcane both of them thought for a while and said uncle they make sugar raja said you are right do you know how they produce sugar for our consumption and yarni is replying to her her uncle no uncle but if you tell us we will know about it uncle her uncle replies okay i shall tell you and you in turn must tell your friends about it okay uncle and he began saying he said that sugarcane is cultivated in agriculture fields Where is sugarcane cultivated, children? In the fields. This is the primary production. The cultivation is a primary production. To get sugar, we take sugarcane to the sugar factories. By using the machine, we produce sugar. This is a secondary production. So, when you take the sugarcane to the factory to convert it into sugar, that is secondary production. So. like sugar industries many other industries are known as secondary sectors and generally described as manufacturing sectors so you have primary production sector which is agriculture and secondary production sector sector which is manufacturing the tertiary sector provides all those services which enable the finished goods to reach in the hands of consumer These industries include traders, banking, insurance, etc. Now, what is production? Production is a process of changing the raw materials into finished products. Here, the factors of production is the input like sugar cane, machinery, labors, etc., and sugar is the output. Now, Let us learn about the production and the various factors included in production like land, labor, capital and entrepreneur and its characteristics in detail. And Yarni and Josephine will say Okay uncle In this session we will know the meaning of production understand the types of production know about the factors of production and to understand the characteristics of the factors of production children do you have any idea what a production is the action of making or manufacturing from components or raw materials or the process of being so manufactured is the meaning of production it could be the process of baking harvesting or creating something or the amount of something that was made or harvested for example production is a creation of a furniture or maybe harvesting corn to eat 
it could be also the amount of corn produced children there are two main activities in an economy they are production and consumption i told you already what is production now what is an economy economy is a careful management of the available resources or it could be the state of a country or a region in terms of production and consumption of goods and services and the supply of money so that it deals with the production as well as the consumption now what is the meaning of consumption consumption is the action of using up a resource so children in an economy two things should be there first thing should be there must be production and second one there should be consumption of the products similarly there are two kinds in economy the producers and consumers producers make goods or provide services to earn money they set the price for goods or services based on its supply and demand a consumer is an individual who pays some money for the thing required to consume goods and services without consumer demand producers would lack one of the key motivations to produce that is to sell to customers so the well being is made possible by efficient production and by the interaction between producers and consumers in the interaction consumers can be identified in two roles both of which generate well being consumers can be both customers of the producers and suppliers to the producers they can take two forms one is the customers of the producers and the suppliers to the producers the customers well being arises from the commodities when they buy and consume suppliers well being is related to the income they receive when they sell the commodities and services so when a customer is able to buy a commodity and use it there is well being for him whereas for a supplier when he is able to sell the commodity or the service and get income from that then there is a well being of the supplier children in an economy all are consumers all are consumers but all are not producers or sellers all are consumers but they are never or never all are producers or sellers when you go shopping you are a consumer when you go get a haircut then you are a consumer children what is production the action of making or manufacturing from components or raw materials the or the process of being so manufactured is called as a production or we can also say it is an organized activity of converting resources into finished products in the form of goods and services so children production is a process of combining various material inputs and immaterial inputs in order to make something for the consumption so you are combining the material input and immaterial input material input could be the things the solid things or the raw materials immaterial inputs could be the logic or the process to do it and it is converted into something for consumption which is the output it is the act of creating an output a good or a service it could be a goods or it could be a service which has value and contributes to the utility of the individual it is something which is usable by an individual so there is some demand information going into it and the raw materials and parts are given the resources that may be the human people people or maybe the land the resources using the resource the production system produces the final products which are usable by a consumer or a person it could be a goods or it could be a service which can be used now we will see what is the meaning of production in economics production refers to the creation of those goods and services which have exchange value what is production 
it is a creation of those goods and services which have exchange value now learn the term exchange value e x c h a n g e exchange value v a l u e exchange value refers to the power of purchasing other goods which the possession of an object conveys it expresses the relative price of a good in terms of other goods it is a usefulness of a commodity that is the worth of one good or service expressed in term of worth of another for example in a business of foreign exchange the value of each currency is expressed in terms of value of another currency it means the creation of utilities there are things which are made for which are utilizable utility means what satisfying power of a product utility is a state or quality of being useful or usefulness according to the nature of utilities they are classified into form utility time utility and place utility what are the classifications form utility time utility and place utility children there are three different types of utility form utility place utility and time utility form place and time now what is the meaning of form once you change the form of the commodity its utility may increase then it is called as form utility when you change the place of utility when you transport it or move it from one place to another its utility increases then we say its place utility the time we keep a product we store a product for some time later release it in the market then it is called as time utility so different utilities are form place and time now we will see what is that the first type of utility is form utility if the physical form of a commodity is changed its utility may increase you can see cotton in the raw form as cotton balls is less demand than if it is converted into clothes the next kind of utility is place utility that is if a commodity is transported from one place to another its utility may increase for example our tamil nadu rice from our tamil nadu is transported to kerala its utility will be more and so do the vegetables which are transported from tamil nadu to kerala side when you when you see the time utility if the commodity is stored for future use its utility may increase that is if the agricultural commodities which are used by the consumers throughout the year like paddy and wheat are stored for future use its utility increases and when the utility increases definitely the cost will increase you know raw cotton is cheaper compared to the finished good that is cloth same way rice in tamil nadu is cheaper when you compare it with kerala you know that uh, you know that uh, when rice is stored its value increases one year old rice will fetch you more price than a fresh rice children now we will see the types of production for general purposes it is necessary to classify the production into three main groups they are primary secondary and tertiary primary p r i m a r y primary production secondary s e c o n d a r y secondary tertiary t e r t i a r y tertiary primary secondary and tertiary production now uh, we can say primary production example industries are like agriculture forestry fishing mining and oil extraction they extract gifts of nature from earth surface from beneath the earth surface and from the oceans examples of secondary production is turning out of semi finished and finished goods from raw materials and intermediate goods for example conversion of flour into bread or iron ore into finished steel 
it could be manufacturing of cars furnishing clothing and chemicals and also engineering and buildings the tertiary production are all those services which enable the finished goods to be put in the hands of consumers they are the services that are supplied to the firms in all types of industry and directly to the consumers for example banking insurance transport communication government services such as law administration education health defense everything is coming under the tertiary production now we will see what is a primary production primary production refers to the state of activity in which natural resources are directly used since agriculture is given prime importance it is also referred to as agricultural sector production i told you children it is in, in which directly the nature's gifts are being used so it could be industries like agriculture forestry fishing mining and oil extraction so in all these industries extracting the gifts of nature from the earth surface from beneath and earth surface and from the surface of the oceans agricultural industry there is large scale agricultural process going on the seeds are sown they are grown weeds are extracted and the harvest is taken it is converted into finished goods that is grains and then it is transported in the term in the case of forestry the timber or the wood is cut into pieces and it is packed and transported in the case of mining the iron ore or the mineral ore is extracted from the earth by the process of mining and it is transported to the various industries for example coal coal is mined from the coal mines and it is transported to the different parts of the country for the usage iron ore extracted from the ore are transported to the different steel plants and so on children now we will see what is secondary production it is the manufacturing and assembling process it involves converting raw materials into components for example making plastics from oil it also involves assembling the product example building houses bridges roads etc so children the process of manufacturing products by using primary products as raw material is known as secondary level production since industries are given prime importance it is referred as industrial sector children the production of cotton is a primary sector it is cotton industry the secondary sector of that is the cloth production the mining of iron ore is the primary industry iron industry the secondary sector is a material production that is converting of iron ore into steel is a secondary production children now we will learn about the secondary production it is the manufacturing and assembly process it involves converting raw material into components for example making plastics from oil or how it involves assembling the product example building the houses or bridges and roads and so on it is a secondary sector that help in generating the opportunities for employment and it helps in the growth and prosperity of a country the finished products which we use in our homes and for our business are manufactured in the secondary industries it could be food manufacturing textile manufacturing and industry so children manufacturing of cars clothing chemicals engineering and buildings etc are examples of secondary sector of production you can see a large scale cotton industry in progress and the engineering and buildings which are in construction site now we will see what is a tertiary production tertiary industry or tertiary production is a segment of the industry that provides services to its consumers including a wide range of businesses such as financial institutions schools restaurants it is also called as service industry or service sector a tertiary production also refers to the services that support the production and distribution process like the insurance transport advertising warehousing and teaching healthcare 
It is a tertiary sector that provides the basic services like the public transportation, medical facility, electricity, banking, post office. It creates huge area for employment even for uneducated and unskilled workers. So children, the tertiary production is known as a services which are not visible, rendered by the teachers, doctors, etc. to the economy. Banking, insurance, education, health and defense are examples to service sector. Children, now we will see the details about Indian economy. Children, India has a mixed economy. Mixed in the sense the private sector and the public sector coexist. They exist together. Now, what is the meaning of public sector and a private sector? Children, an economic activity owned and managed by the government is called a public sector. An economic activity owned and managed by an individual or a group of individual is called as a private activity or private sector. So, India's economy both we can find both the private sector enterprises as well as the public sector enterprises. You can say public sector enterprises, you can say uh, our BSNL, then uh, Salem Steel Plant, Steel Plants and uh, SagoServe etc. All under, come under public sector. Private sector includes the private institutions like Reliance or Geo or Tata Group etc. India's economy is a mixed one and half of the workers in India rely on agriculture. The cost of living is lower in India compared to other countries. The Indian middle class is bigger. It is an attractive country for outsourcing such as call centers. We have very huge business accounts for call centers and outsourcing. And you have we have Bollywood. It contributes billions of amount to Indian GDP. GDP or gross domestic product of a country is the total value of goods and services produced in a country. It is measured in, in terms of quarters or a year. It is an indicator, economic indicator which is used worldwide to show the economic health of a country. GDP can be calculated in three ways by using the expenditure by production or by the income and the most to the GDP of a country is contributed by the tertiary sector. Before we wind up let us have a recap of the lesson. In this session we discussed about the general introduction about the lesson meaning of production. Production is the process of combining various material inputs and immaterial inputs in order to make something for consumption, that is the output. The act of creating an output, a good or a service which has value and contribute to the utility of individuals. We also learned about the type of utilities, the form utility, place utility and time utility. A form utility is a change in the physical form of the commodity, its utility may increase. Place utility, if it is transported from one place to another, its utility might increase. The time utility is when if you store the commodity for a future use, its utility may increase. We also learned about the meaning of production and the types of production. There are three types of production, the primary, secondary and tertiary. The primary production refers to the state of activity in which natural resources are directly used. Example, agriculture, forestry, fishing, mining, oil extraction. Secondary production is a process of manufacturing products by using primary products as raw materials. Industrial sector production is an example. Manufacturing of cars, clothing, chemicals, engineering, buildings are all examples of secondary sector. A tertiary production is known as a services which are not visibly rendered by teachers, doctors, etc. to the economy. Banking, insurance, education, health and defense are examples to service sectors. So in the next session we will learn about the factors of production. A worksheet time, a small worksheet for you. 
copy the questions and write the answers as home test. Roman number one, choose the correct answer. Production refers to destruction of utility, creation of utility, exchange value, none of these. Production refers to destruction of utility, creation of utility, exchange value, none of these. Utilities are in the nature of form utility, time utility, place utility, all of these. Utilities are in the nature of form, time, place, all of these. Roman number 2. Give short answer. Question number 1. What is production? What is production? Question number 2. What is utility? What is utility? Question number 3. Name the types of utility. Name the types of utility. Roman number 3. Give brief answers. Question number 1. Explain the types of production. That's all for today's class, my dear children. Thank you for watching the class. Stay safe, stay blessed.